everybody, Ben for the Bono Podcast, and welcome to Top 5 Friday. On a Friday, we get together and we have a look at the Top 5, something normally to do with Blood Bowl. Now we're continuing our series looking at the best and brightest third-party and 3D-printed teams out there to be an alternative team for your Blood Bowl. We're looking at Undead this week. Undead are a very powerful team. Solid tier one. You've got dodgy ghouls, you've got bashy whites, and you've got the big guys in the mummies, as well as skeletons and zombies. So there's a good mix of positionals in there. There's a ton of options for you, and we put a post out at the beginning of this week, and we've got some great alternative teams for you. So let's have a look at the top five Undead teams. Now, before we delve into our top five, I think it's very fair to say that the Games Workshop team is really good. There's a few uh, aggravatingly small pieces, uh, like the wings on the side of the boots of the blitzers, I think. That was fun. But as far as the Games Workshop teams go, it's a great box. You get two whites, uh, the wraiths, sorry, no whites, they are whites, they're still whites. The two white blitzers, you get the two mummies that you need, you get two of the four ghouls you need as well. You get some zombies, you get some skeletons. The models are really good. The sculpts are really good. I actually think this is one of the better Games Workshop kits. But it is, you know, it is flexible. And that's the, the most amazing thing about Blood Bowl. And it's what we saw at SCA at the weekend, our tournament at the weekend. There's a ton of stuff you can do with your team. If you've got an undead box, you can upgrade the mummies. You can get some ghouls from a third party. There's a ton of flexibility. So even though we're going to have a look at five really good third-party undead teams, of all the teams in Blood Bowl, this is the one you can probably have the most fun... Well, that's not fair. Chaos Renegades you have the most fun with. But this is up there with the most fun to kind of kit bash your own, get some ghouls that you look like the looks of, get some skeleton and zombies that you like the look of, get some big guys, whether they're from like the Tomb King set or big undead zombie ogres. There's a ton of flexibility, and undead gives you so much free range to go and piece your team together from lots of bits of things. So if you want to make a really unique team... Undead is a really great one to do that with. If you want to convert it, Undead is a great one for that. But if you just want to go and acquire a game, uh, acquire a Undead team that isn't the Games Workshop one, then we've got some great, great teams out there for you. And we're going to start with number five. And number five is Willy Miniatures. Now, hopefully you can see that all right on the screen. We always have problems with these websites when we're trying to zoom in and do things. But the Undead team is available on the Willy Miniatures website right now. You get four zombies, four... It's, it's called racial zombies. And this is another thing I really like about this team is you've got some different undead creatures. Can we uh, can we flick through the pictures? We do. So you've got the ghouls here, which are pretty dynamic. They've kind of got a slam vibe to them. You've got the zombies there. Now, when it comes to undead, you've got zombies and skeletons, and being able to differentiate the two is really important because they've got very different stats. Skeletons are 25% faster than zombies, and zombies have got just better armor. So they become very, it's very important. Now, this is the cool thing here, is that you've got these racial uh, zombies. So you've got a couple of elves, you've got a beast man, you've got an orc there, which is really cool to see. It reminds me of the Warhammer Fantasy Battle 5th edition Dogs of War Regiment, the Cursed Company. It was the first time we had like an undead skeleton, an undead high elf. It was really cool. It gave some real nice creativity to it. And Willy Miniatures have pulled it off here. We've seen a lot of Willy Miniatures uh, teams on the channel. Um, and they are very cool. They're really well, really well sculpted. Now, the mummies. The mummies are the star players of the undead team in 11s. Ghouls and, and whites are better in 7s because the mummies are so slow. But having two of these mummies with movement 3, strength 5, mighty blow plus 1, no nega trait they're great so actually you want big imposing and very dynamic and well sculpted models i like the games workshop ones but you've got to admit that all the extra padding the like the just the, the execution of all these third party mummies are so good they're so cool each one of these guys could be a, a star player which is kind of what i think is the best that's the best thing about the third party teams 
is if you can find a team where every single one of the miniatures could be a star player, could have that extra character, that extra rules to it, then that's, I think, the key to making a really cool and exciting team. The mummies are awesome. The whites are so cool. I love this. I love the paint job. The OSL, uh, the OSL on the eyes is really, really, really well done. But just the style, the stance, it's just so 80s mornings cartoon. I see this picture. I instinctively want to sit cross-legged on the floor with a bowl of cereal. It's that kind of vibe. And I think that's awesome. And another one. And it's just such a cool bit. It's got kind of like a Night Lords vibe to it. It's got like uh, Blood Dragons vibe to it. And that's what I mean about the Undead team. You need two big guys. You need two Blitzer looking guys. You need four Runner looking guys. And you need two different types of Lineman Chaff. And that's what this Woody Miniatures team gets you. The scale's great. Their sculpting's great. Their, their production quality is brilliant. 80 euros. Uh, it's not cheap. But we talk about this every week. That third party Blood Bowl team where you get everything for 80 pounds is probably about the same as a two box team with some big guys from games workshop this is the difficult thing about this week's video is that the undead team from games workshop gives you everything you need except for a couple of ghouls but you need another box then so it's actually 60 pounds for an undead team or 80 euros for the willing miniatures team Four zombies, four uh, racial zombies again use one as skeletons four ghouls you've maxed out your cap uh, two whites and two mummies. You get the whole whack for the team for $80, 80 euros. I don't know, it's probably all the same value at the moment, isn't it? It is in the way of pounds. Willy Miniatures, they do great models, and it's a great complete team. Number four, it's Grebo Games. So this is one of their older teams. Um, this is the Undead Unrenaissance Undead Teams, and this is the Undead Team Bundle. So this bundle, you get one skeleton, seven zombies, two whites, four ghouls, two mummies, and some other stuff. So that's eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen players, ninety euros, and we can have a look at the model. So this has got this Renaissance theme, and we're going to see a couple of teams this week that we'll probably see uh, parts of next week as well when we do Necromantic for Halloween week, of course. But this is one of, the, I think, the first teams that really stood out when it came to Grebo. And we must be going back six, seven years now, because I remember seeing this when we were kind of just dipping our toes back into Blood Bowl again. There's a heavy Renaissance theme. This is uh, kind of your 17th century Venice gone undead. And it's really, really, really cool. It's not quite Bretonia themed. It's like halfway between Bretonia and, you know, later on. But it's got that regal vibe. You've got the uh, floofy trousers. A kind of like an undead. A cross between Bretonia and Empire if you're a Warhammer person. Uh, but otherwise, it's just a kind of more modern medieval take. Every single one of these sculpts is individual. And is brilliantly executed. And that's the thing when it comes to Grebo. They do great sculpting. And then there's the skeleton. And again, that's what we're talking about. Where each one of these models could be their own star player. If someone said, Ben, here's 50 of this model, make star player rules, you could definitely do it, right? We could all do that. This guy would be great fun. And then you've got the cool positional. So this is one of the mummies. This is a really interesting tape. They're not gigantic bruisers or brawlers. They're kind of like popes or kings, which really fits the theme for the team and they also stand out well enough with that regalry now norm you know me i'm a stickler for my big guys being big guys so that it's very clear that they're dangerous on the pitch um that's one of the challenges i think with the undead team the the games workshop one the mummies are a little bit on the small side they're about the same size as a black orc but it works because there's only two of them same thing here you've got two of the most regal models on the pitch and they're going to stand out. You've got a cool siren who will be your wraiths. You've got these dodgy looking, I don't know, street urchin guys who are going to be your ghouls with patchwork clothes and the weird hoods. Works really well. Very Mordheim-esque. And I absolutely love it. So the team is really cool. It's an undead Bretonia theme, basically. You've got the big Pope dudes as your mummies. You've got the siren looking dudes as your uh, whites which will also work for Wraiths if you want to use some of the team for a Necromantic team. And you've got four ghouls there, each with individual posing, who actually work out really well. So I really love this team. And for 90 euros, it's about bang on what we're looking for. 16 guys, full pack, all the positionals, good to go. Number five. 
Number three, it's Punga, sort of. Now, Punga don't have an undead team. They have an undead pack, which is $60 for two ghouls, two mummies, and two skeletons. But the sculpts are too good for me to not kind of talk about on uh, on the episode. I think they're just they're just too good. Now, it forms part of their necromantic team. So for price, this is not ideal. Unless you want two teams in one. Which, uh, then you're kind of like, well, I might as well get both pieces. And then I can use it as two teams. And it makes it half the price. Right? I think that's the excuse we all tell our other halves. Anyway, so I love the Punga Sculpts. This team came out of their Kickstarter two, three years ago. The big one that had Tomb Kings and Vampires in. It was a really cool build. And... The sculpts are fantastic. Each of those two skeletons can merrily be your blitzer. You've got the ghouls with a ton of character. Now, we've seen some really lovely painted up versions of uh, bits of this team on Whip Wednesday. The ghouls are excellent. They are a little bit cartoony. They've got that exaggerated vibe to them. I think they're brilliant. They stand out and they do not look tiny and fragile, which is a bit of a vulnerability when it comes to the ghoul position. Or when teams are sculpted with the ghouls, the ghouls tend to be creepy and weird as opposed to like cool and dynamic actually these are both creepy and weird and cool and dynamic which is a really strong step and quite frankly punga are just the masters of big mummies they just are they're so good at it their tomb king team is excellent and you've got two sculpts here that are worthy of that team so that's 60 dollars for um for the add-on pack and the add-on has to go on to the uh the necromantic team which was the crypt guardians so this is a very expensive way to get a necromantic team 160 dollars is well currently 160 pounds isn't it so it's twice what we're looking at for everything else that bundle though if you have uh you can't quite do the undead one crypt guardians maybe that is the right way to do it i know but you're looking at about 160 for both the wraiths both the four ghouls all your minions this one will come with werewolves and flesh golems and the mummies that you need to do it every one of them with an individual sculpt you've got the ghosts here now to represent the new necro team and those ghouls with their dynamic posing i really like it it is very expensive the only way i could kind of sell this I couldn't leave it off the list because they're just it's just too nice. But at $160, which is probably about £150 right now, if you're doing it and you're getting Undead and Necromantic for that price, then you can potentially discuss it with yourself. They're lovely models, but it is quite a cost. Anyway, Punga, number three. Number two, it's RNE Studio. RN a studio. I we this these guys come up regularly. Not only do each of these positionals come up regularly, but RNE Studio comes up quite regularly as well. Now I've kind of had to blow up the picture here because this is on uh, my mini factory, and forty nine dollars will get you the STLs. Now you all mentioned this team uh, when we looked at the comments because it does form a lot of everything now there's a couple of things to call out this eternals team has got all the pieces for undead and the pieces for a necromantic team so it's a two for one fifty dollars for an entire team's worth of stls is on the higher end you're normally looking for maybe 30 to 40 dollars for everything for a team from an stl point of view so it's a little bit more than you want to pay but again this does cover both teams and you get a variety of different sculpts in there Quite frankly, though, when it comes to this team, again, the mummies are what we see so regularly. There are two positionals here that are really excellent. And you've got these whites who are individually brilliant. They have got proper skeleton champion vibes to them. And that makes me so happy because that just looks like classic fantasy. And classic fantasy on the Blood Bowl pitch is exactly what Blood Bowl is about. And you've got these gigantic mummies, and they are gigantic. In fact, they're really, really cool teams. And we see this team at tournaments regularly. It was one of the first complete STL teams out there. There's a cartoony vibe to them. There has a very cartoony vibe to the entire team. And you've got uh, Iron Maiden zombies, basically. So the only thing to kind of call out about this team is there's no differential between zombies and skeletons. 
but I'm not sure that's something you can't kind of work your way through. You've got ghouls there with the weird cartoony faces that kind of look a little bit like the Winter Knight. That's pretty cool. You've got a mixture of the ghouls. You've got the werewolves when you want to do flesh um, necromantic teams. And you've got the flesh golems down there in the corner as well. It is a cool team. I think does it have a contents list or no no there's 16 different models there so it is just this one with just this one picture 50 dollars is a lot you then have to print it as well you can probably pick one up though for 35 40 pounds printed on etsy or something like that which is in itself really good so very good value if you want the stls for two teams you're there um otherwise i don't know i'm really impressed with it anyway that is rna studio mythbolt eternals Which brings me to the number one team. Now, I went with my personal vibe on this one a little bit more um, than normal. We had a smattering of different undead teams, so there's a lot out there. It's tough. There's no one go-to team for undead at the moment. There's some great ones out there, but they're all very much seasoned to your taste. There's some ones on comics in Nodios. Weird, you know, with this star player shop, which is now gone. There's Myco miniatures, which are now, I don't know, you can find them. So there's no, like, one place to go. Grebo don't have a new modern undead team. Punga, their undead team, you have to kind of buy the Necro team. It's a weird place to be for undead at the moment. But there is one team that we reviewed on the channel recently that we've printed that we actually featured on the Dungeon Bowl Championship because Trips printed this team out and just painted it and we used it for the show. So it felt wrong not giving this the first place. And this is the Damned of the West Cross from MG Picks. This, again, is an STL bundle for $30. And it was part of a Kickstarter that they ran that came with an entire dungeon as well. And a second team, which was this Snotling team. For $30, you get an undead team and a snotling team with it. For $50, you get the entire contents of the dungeon as well. So you can go r &E Studio and get all the pieces for two teams, or you can go the MG Picks route and get an entire dungeon as well. Now, if you've got a resin printer, printing an entire dungeon is not cheap or easy. I've done it, and it's, it is, however, great fun, and it's, it's just such a good set. So maybe that's swaying me a little bit. We've got some painted up miniatures here. But we talked about r &E Studio and we talked about the different sculpts and how you've got dynamism. Well, actually, you know what? MG Picks is exactly the same. The mummies here are just some of the best models. I've actually got a bunch printed because I just love them. They're so good. They are big. They are cartoony. The team is exaggerated. The skeletons have a load of character. The zombies have character. Every single one of these positionals has got a lot of character. They're not master crafted, like super detailed painters minis. Okay, they're cartoony and fun and they print brilliantly and they paint brilliantly. And they've they, one guy's ripping his own head off to chuck it. It's just fantastic. It's just so much fun that I couldn't not recommend this. You get two of the whites. You get two of the mummies. You get, uh, is it four ghouls? Yeah, you get four different ghouls, and they've got this kind of weird Resident Evil vibe to them. You get four zombies. You get four skeletons. They're 3D printed, so you can mirror them if you want. You can print them to whatever scale you want. Um, I know when we were looking at the undead, at uh, the College of Death, when we were doing a Dungeon Bowl series, this was, we knew this was what we were going for. It gave us the flexibility to have as many mummies as we wanted, to, to have more whites, to do whatever we wanted with them. I love the sculpts. They're so much fun. $30 gets you this and that weird snotling team as well, which I really like. There's some cool painted up versions. It, they take contrast paints brilliantly. I am a huge fan of this set and I'm letting my bias come first because if you need to buy STLs to get yourself a team, there are some great options. I would go with this one because it gives you the most flexibility to kind of print what it is that you want at the scale you want. r &E Studio, also really good to pick up a box team, Willy Miniatures or Punga or Grebo. You cannot go wrong with them. But I had to give the edge to this one because it was part of a great Kickstarter and I love every single one of the models. And that's exactly what I said. You could take any one of these players and, and they'd make a great, fun individual painting project. And that's what I want from my teams. So for me, number one is Damned of the West Cross from MG Picks. I loved it. It's great fun. All their models are fun. But any one of these teams would be 
a very solid undead team for you or you take what you want and you upgrade the games workshop team you mix and match and you've got that flexibility and that is what is so good about blood bowl as long as you can see what stuff is you could even run a pokemon team I know that's going to upset a lot of people, uh, but we, we there's some good ones going around. Anyway, guys, uh, let me know if we've missed anything off the list. I did have a scrounge around. I did read your comments. I feel like I've forgotten something. So please do put it in the comments so that other people who are looking for an undead team can find it and buy it and play Blood Bowl with it. But for now, I'm going to disappear. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back soon with more Blood Bowl content. Happy blocking. Thanks very much for watching. We really appreciate your support. If you want to support the channel even further, please like and subscribe. It really does help us out. Or come join us on YouTube members or in Patreon, where you can get exclusive access to some content, some loot, early access to basically everything we do, as well as regular competitions. Or you can pick up some Bonehead Podcast loot either on our website at boneheadpodcast.com. We've got the Dungeon Bowl things. We've got tokens and stuff like that. Or on our Spreadshirt site as well. Everything you do just helps us make more content and hopefully do it of better quality. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Happy blocking.